Hello there. Welcome to the Season 52 Chalice first round match between Niaga and his Dark Elves and Augmented Beard and his Dwarves. Um, there are two crazy teams here. In the booth with me is Squirrel Dude. Hello. You all right there, Jim? I'm all right there. Thank you very much. <laughs> so I am. <laughs> This is one of the games that Kalon was uh, super excited about, to be honest. The two great teams, right? The, uh, the Dwarf team isn't as great as you'd think, as it first looks. Like, because it's got three strength ups. Looks unbelievable. There's only, like, a three mighty blow players and a, and a palm. And so not, they're not actually that rowdy. They're actually lacking a bit of guard as well. So they, there's a, they're not actually as good as you would think, looking at them. Um, and they are, also they've induced a dirty player mercenary runner here, so you know down a lot of TV. Got a wizard as well. Um, but the dark elf team is incredible, absolutely incredible. Fourteen players, and even well thirteen now. Loads of stat ups, loads of doubles. Unbelievable, unbelievable dark elf team. So. Very unlucky the, draw for the Dark Elves, I guess. Yeah, yeah, this is a hard game. On the top of inducements, how much cheaper could bear is Barrack than a runner with thirty player? Um, I don't know. He doesn't. Have, he doesn't have. Uh, he doesn't Isn't have. It, DP he doesn't have thirty player. Yeah. But he's not getting fielded on offense anyway. The thirty player, so. Yeah, you could have Barrack and Boomer right for the same cost. Yeah. Uh, well, not even the same cost. Cheaper is it's one sixty for the uh, runner with DP. Is it really that much? Yeah, yeah, because it's, it's eighty for the runner, thirty for the merc, and fifty for the skill, so it's one hundred and sixty. So yeah, you could have a barrack and boomer. But it seems like it has to be better, but it does, doesn't it? And he's got a bribe as well. Flip me. Yeah. So loads of inducements for the dwarves. Very TV efficient and a very good team. Like, very, like they're still really good. They're just not mm -hmm. as amazing as they look on on the team sheet. <laughs> yeah. Which like they look amazing. Like they look, you know, an absolute monster team. You look at them look well. They're rolling well, which helps. The two cousins instantly straight off the bat. I just didn't realise everyone's being mean there, saying yep is super tiring, super interesting, super yep, <laughs> super very... I feel like, uh, I feel like guessing that Twitch chat is being mean is just a good assumption at all times, so. Mm. That was on you for not assuming it, Jim. You should have just known they were saying yep. Yep. Mm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Well, you know, good good penetration from the dwarves here, isn't it? Augmented beard. Mm -hmm. uh, like one of the ways to stop dwarves is just like randomly getting in the way. You know, clog up the middle, stop them getting forward, and uh, you know those two cars have helped them get forward. And yeah, just make taking this hit here not really worth it. Uh, not doing a whole lot for purple chest would be envious of how well these dwarves are filling this elf gap. So, <laughs> God. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you'd be proud of that as well. You'd be proud of that comment. <laughs> well, you know, his spirit lives on through all dwarves and elves. It's really, it's both of PC's teams here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, there's no goblins. It's two out of three. There's mm -hmm. a goblin rare. Ah, uh, see if um the dwarves had hired the one of the, the bomber or whatever, they would have had a goblin within all of PC's teams. Yeah. That seems like a pointless. I guess you have to do that reroll because order, but man, only having two rerolls feels a bit a bit light for the ordering of this turn, and now we're going backwards because of it. So not yes. a huge fan. Yeah, that was a bit shit. That was a bit shit. Obviously a bit unlucky, but also a bit shit. Yeah. <laughs> With two rerolls you kinda have to go into for a lot of these relations, you have to assume you're gonna be rolling more double schools and prioritize the ball a bit more. Yes. Than he did there on that turn. Correct. So now, if you can knock down that stand firmer, um, you can uh, you know get a lot in f in front again and blunt this attack. Yeah. 
No, I don't like that. How did just strength fall blitz the uh, blitz the furthest forward guy? Mm. Which is what he does afterwards. <laughs> Bit of a uh, reroll regret happening right now, I think. Mm. Are we fouling? Maybe. Or are we just trying to control this one dwarf? Or did we take lessons from playing the AI and learn that you have to mark down players with your entire team? <laughs> Maybe Niagara is a super advanced Blood Bowl 2 AI. <laughs> I'm sure the AI will be good in the next game, though, for all five of us that played against the AI. Yeah. be really good, I promise. It's really important that the AI be competent. I promise. <laughs> It was weird this moving the witch elf. I guess he didn't want the witch elf blitzed, but like it's opening up a lot of space in the middle, not having not having anything there. Mm-hmm. Yep, he goes straight in, steams straight into that space. Yep. Witch elf gives you a gap. You gotta take it. Hmm. Got a pal here though. Well, I didn't have to. But really wants to. <laughs> no, Thomas hey, just step. That's surprising. Anyway. I think I would have stayed in contact and just gone all men's contact this turn. Got so much guard. <laughs> Stop trolling our Yeti. <laughs> it took us 30 years and 100 million dollars of resources to get chess AI. And Blood Bowl is about as complicated, and we spent about 10 bucks on getting the AI to be any good, so <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit. What's the play here? Blitz the, blitz the Edge 5 and pile in, maybe? I think so. Looks like he's blitzing the side step and going over the side. Man, this is like the opposite of watching people avoid hitting uh, stand firm. Just going all in on hitting the side stepper with guard, I guess. I mean, he is pretty. He's a pretty good player, and you can keep the ball safe even if, after you do it since it's stand firm. But still, mm. oh, it's three dice as well, which is nice. Isn't mm. it? No, it's not. Why is it? Oh, it's, wait, why is it not three dice? I guess one doesn't have guard. One doesn't have doesn't guard. Matter. What the hell? What kind of dwarf doesn't have guard? Oh, the strength form. You probably thought it was three dice. I always do. I literally, yeah. whenever I play dwarves, I just imagine everyone has guard. I'm always disgusted by the one dwarf that doesn't have guard. <laughs> Yeah, Blood Bowl campaign is literally played by dozens of different people, isn't it? I'd be shocked if it was more than, than a dozen. <laughs> yeah. Running out of players in these. Three players stuck over here, not doing a whole lot. It's not often that dwarves get to say they're trading. They're, like they were there, two dwarves with three elves. That's a pretty without having any gotten casualties. It's a pretty good trade. I don't really like bits in this one. I much prefer to bits the edge five here and you know, push further down the side. Yeah, I can see why they went for the runner though, because you know it is the runner. It is the armor value seven guy. He does have guard, so you can get a cheap removal. Mm -hmm. Not a bad time to go for it. But they do need to start. Even if they've been filling this gap all the time, they need to. They do need to make some progress. Yeah, he's not, not really getting forward very far, is he? And not u not using the runner blitz to engage these two either, which would be like mm -hmm. one of the big one of the pro points. Getting the removal from his armor breaks though, freaking not very killy. Mm. Four elves that are out next turn with the stun. Yeah, Dog to the Dog. It seemed like to me the Ange 5 Blitz was the uh, was the ob more obvious one for getting the Tuddy, but never mind. 
both coaches are um, obsessed with finding the lowest armor value player that they can hit and going straight for it with the yeah. Dark Elves falling up the Rider Blitz with that Troll Slayer. Yeah, which is fair, isn't it? Like it's, and then now, because he didn't jam in as hard as maybe he could have done with this, mm -hmm. he didn't get penetration and he's getting banged down a bit as well. Mm hmm. Always sucks when you don't get penetration because you can just jam it in in the first place. Way. <laughs> now does he go for the edge five this turn? Because I still think he needs a need with one more player this turn. Needed literally one more player. This guy not being stunned. He comes back to here, and then this witch elf goes there and keeps the sideline. And that, that one player I think might be crucial. Yeah, fair, Clemens. I guess people. People who don't know better are just gonna like you. Just buy the game. We'll play it, won't they? Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. And then you know, God knows how many people like never find Twitch and stuff. Yep. Yep. Fair enough. Weird, isn't it? It's weird to think about all of the people. Like you know, discovering Blood Bowl as a video game kind of thing. I think I discovered it as a video game when I was a tabletop game, but that was from the Total Biscuit days. Mm. It's not that uncommon, I don't think. Yeah, it's I mean, it can't be that uncommon. No, no, but it, it's just strange when you're you know not approaching it from that angle. If you see what I mean. Mm. Yeah. Ooh, stand firm, interesting. Super interesting. <laughs> yeah, I guess he could have turned off sand from there and forced the witch onto contact if he wanted to. Hmm. Since I already got the knockdown. Or just pushed into a different one. Hmm. Uh, stuff. Interesting. Gonna have to force a score in this turn. Which is yeah. why having letting the witch follow up might have been Correct there. Yeah, I think Gives so. you a point to push through. <laughs> Credit to the Dark Elves who've been able to make it this. Uh, wow, okay. But that you have strength four, I suppose. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's so, both getting you the touchdown. I don't hate it against Elves. Like, it's really unlikely to be a two touchdown swing. Like, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. a, 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 a Wizard versus Elves is really unlikely to be a two touchdown swing. So just using it for a one touchdown swing is totally fine. Which, uh, if you see my uh, semi-final versus Inarian in one of the early CCLs, where I do that fantastically well, should have beaten Inarian, but was diced just quietly. Uh, no spoilers, but you know, is it absolute? It's a few years old. I think it's okay to spoil it at this point. It was, of course, a course, of comedy mega dicing, but you know, I played him off the park. Should have won. Um, diced to death. Brilliant use of a wizard by me in that game. In Bash versus Elves, <laughs> kind of like that's true, you know. As much as I'm kind of going overboard for comedic effect, it is also true. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to convince me. I didn't watch the game, and I already don't believe it. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> It, yes, Ducky, I got heavily outbashed by, by Wood Elves. My Chaos Kill team was heavily outbashed by Wood Elves. And I like I was 2-1 ahead, 2-1 grinded him, then he got the one turn and then he won the toss in overtime and I still nearly, nearly stopped him. Yeah, the problem is Clemens, a better AI would be not only difficult, but it would also be like difficult and expensive isn't it and they don't <laughs> both of those are off-putting <laughs> yeah there just isn't the evidence that cyanide really has the budget that they would need to invest in the ai that would be required for this kind of game um so it just isn't really a thing as much as the community thinks that both ai is cheap and easy and simple and anyone can do it it's, which is infuriating <laughs> when we see regularly that massive, huge budget AAA strategy games require the AI to cheat to have for just stand a chance. 
Yeah, exactly. That's the biggest thing, right? Like, everybody would hate the AI cheating in Blood Bowl. Like, everyone would fucking hate that. Like, they would yeah. hate it, wouldn't they? There's, like, there's no way anybody would be okay with the AI cheating in Blood Bowl. Like, no fucking and, way. And truthfully, the margins are too small. Like, you can't just give them more reason. What, what are you going to do? You get a wizard every game? Great, now you teach them how to use a wizard. Awesome. <laughs> cool. They can't do that yet. They still can't. <laughs> yeah. you try to use a bribe? Like, how how do you give them more resources? Like, you do, they do in almost every other strategy game. The AI just gets cheated resources. Mm. Are they going to get units that don't... Are all of you going to get a plus one armor value for free? Like, mm. Or are they going to cheat their dice rolls? Like, 50% of people already think they do because they're not... Because it's, the game is hard. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. Super interesting. So yeah, not a bad, not a bad half from the dwarves. And now, uh, you know, they've got a chance, haven't they? They've got like they did what they had to do, but yeah, maybe if they'd gone for the edge five eternal earlier, they could have uh, scored and kept their wizard. But I really don't hate. I really don't hate. Like it's better to. I think it's better to have used your wizard and be one nil up than it is to have not used your wizard and be nil nil. To kind of come back to what Dimmy said earlier, I, I think it's mm. better to have used it. And, and got some value out of it, even though one to the yeah. swing. That's absolutely fine. 30 player in on defense, which I guess. I don't know, I'm never quite sure how you want to approach that. I guess you're just trying to force him to score and you can use the dirty player to force him to score by threatening fouls. But also the dirty player is worse than both players on the bench. Yeah, it's a it's stopping a tough a score. One. Yeah. Yeah, that was a tough one. I mean, how this troll slayer is arguably worse than both players on the bench as well. Yeah. <laughs> like, very arguably, like. Yeah. They, they'd honestly probably both of them would have been better off on offense. The dirty player gives you an extra movement. The troll slayer, obviously, you have more initiative to protect their armor value weight because you have more direction of where they're going to be. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I, re I really, w I would really rather have the. Oh, he's armor. Okay, so he's armor. So that makes it closer. Actually, if he was armor nine, I think I'd rather have the long beard. How much tackle do the elves have? They got a couple on their both witch elves, but that's it. So the dodge is actually still pretty valuable on that player, though. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting. Because he isn't piling. I haven't seen him pile once this game. I don't think. And Cafe Beans, programming the AI to take decent skills would be a start, though interestingly that is probably much harder now in Blood Bowl 2020 to teach the AI how to do skills. <laughs> so, because I don't think even players have a good understanding of how to do that, let alone how to do that in, multi in a multitude of environments. You'd probably give them a decent baseline, which they couldn't do in this game either, but then you would be stuck with accidentally giving the AI a bunch of all their players and end up looking the same and you kind of lose some variety. I'm not sure they want to do either for... Oof. Kicking Dirty Player was objectively correct. Yep. Yeah, I mean, he, got, he gets the bribe as well, doesn't he? So it's it's interesting. And it, uh, yeah, it certainly paid off there. Yeah, with the bribe, maybe it's the bribe tilts the runner on to get and take him, but I would have really thought about not fielding the troll slayer. But then it is more speed, isn't it, I guess? And yeah. You know, you're trying you're trying to win this one nil in normal time, aren't you? Ultimately, like you can win this in normal time now as the as the dwarves. So you really do desperately want to stop him scoring and having a bit more uh like what's it called? Uh, responsive players is Alternatively good. to look at it, you're putting your two of your Killy players on the field, and if you aren't able to stop them from scoring, you would want to get some a couple of removals so that you are still multiple players up heading into a potential overtime as well. So yeah, yeah, like the faster and killier. So like both of those mm -hmm. things are, are good. It's not an easy decision at all. No. Like dwarf spares are always very awkward. They're always very awkward to figure out how many spares you want to have because. You could. Dwarves would like to just field 12. <laughs> They'd really like to just field 12 players. <laughs> 
because they just they would just rather have their players have two skills and all be like everyone be guard and stand from just have more of them rather than have a bunch of elite players especially as team values go up they just start losing them to flop bomb anyway yeah Oof. and there you have it the first person to advocate the dwarves get the swarming rule which would be very fun and very interactive and everyone would love it i'm sure <laughs> Tricky for the elves. Probably just go around here and punch, which is where they're going. I'm not sure how much simpler chess and go more than bumble i think we can get in trouble by saying that they're much simpler because those games are very complicated but they are at least similar levels of kind of abstract logic you have to apply the bubble just has some dice rolls on top of it that can obfuscate what a good decision is yeah. and armor breaks and stuff and the math on that particularly makes it makes decision making very tricky to figure out Oof. rule the run he rolled a one. I feel it like happens sometimes. Better. I feel like it'd been better using a free player to blitz though, and then you know, mm. he got this guy free or whatever. But fair enough, isn't it? A break, but I'm not sure. I like your first action is just getting an assist, and your second action is taking a block when you still had like obvious moves you needed to make to cover up the side like that. Mm. And again, just go straight the runner <laughs> every time he can. Wants it instant. <sighs> well, you have arrived in a dirty player, I suppose. Yeah. If you're gonna keep that safety, I'd like the safety to be to be a bit more parallel to the uh Agi five, I think, but maybe what maybe be one square to the left. It's hard to say, isn't it? Like yeah. there's a lot of value on him just in the center, but then also there's you really want the strength for Blodger, like doing something as well, so mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd want the safety at all. Yeah. It's tricky. Like, it's hard to defend against our rules, to be fair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dark Owl's making their decision now. They're going to go up the left, but they could still rotate right this upcoming turn with some dice rolls if they have to. A little bit of bad luck on the dodges. Yeah. Yeah, this is interesting now. A little bit of pressure from the uh, dwarfs. Dorfy McDorfington. Big removal. Might might want to do some GFIs here. PC probably would. He can come in, yeah. Yeah, I Is, like that. Yeah. I think it's true that to some degree the Chess AI brute forces solutions by you know being able to calculate a whole bunch of steps, particularly as there are a few enough pieces on the board, it, it does get to work what are effectively known and solved positions. However, there is also a degree to which Chess AI has to have heuristics and think that it is looking at because it, it actually cannot see far enough ahead into a game because there are just too much, there are too many positions that could potentially result for to evaluate all of them. So it has to just evaluate things as basic as having pawns in the center is good and having a king that is safe is good. So, though it may be able to see ahead and see why that is good or bad because it can calculate it and protect itself defensively. <laughs> so, just dodge straight through. <laughs> Stage five, fuck this. Yeah. I'm match five, you don't have tackle that can reach me. Lol, 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 lol.
three plus, wasn't it? That was a bit. It's a bit shit. Not sure about that. Two, three, four, double GFI. So yeah, just need a power here. Oof. To answer Stick's question, so I think Chess AI can see about twenty turns ahead, uh, and yes, Chess AI will at this point always be a human player, no matter their strength. It is just better than a human. Um, though humans can sometimes see twenty to twenty-five moves in opening theory, but. Yes, so chess AI is better at tactics, will always be better at tactics, and is now reached the point where the best chess AI is better, will always be human, so it doesn't necessarily mean it's, like, perfected the game, because chess is a theoretically solved game, and it hasn't gotten there yet, so. Mm. Or at least it's the game that can be solved, because there's a limited number of moves, so. Yeah. It, it's a game that theoretically is a probably a win or a draw for white, with... Theoretical perfect play, which we yeah, I've never thought about that, but it's true, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Why can't computers do that yet? Lazy bastards. Mm -hmm. When Imagine they do, is being able to figure out all the positions of like when there are more star, more positions on a chessboard and positions than stars in the galaxy, whatever the ridiculous number is. Yeah, maybe, well, when they finally, maybe when they finally solve it is when Judgment Day will happen. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I love it. I love the dwarves. Like, all right, we got the ball down there. Right, I'll just pick the ball up and score. Anyway, whatever. Nice job. And that's why you should just try and do GFI to pick up the ball with the stealths. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's on the ground. Maybe not overtime, Inarian. Maybe the maybe dwarves will score in two turns. <laughs> Who knows? It's brute force when you punch the chess pieces. Yes, yeah, I yeah, yeah. Yeah, you see, you see, you can't. You see, you're saying that the AI can't brute force uh, Blood Bowl too. Well, I tell you what, Calcium and Dimmy sure could. Drop an update the shield comes up. Yes, I hope they just copied the Blood Bowl 2 AI and didn't spend time on it, because it's just not... The Blood Bowl 2 AI it's... is good enough for what it does, right? Which is give a new player something to, something to play against. Yeah. While they get a clue. And it doesn't need to be more than that. If they spent a little bit of time improving it so it got rid of some of the more obvious things, like it can't use wizards, and it bases down players five million times, <laughs> honestly, it would be fine. It would... And, or, oh, and it scored touchdowns when it could. Like... Yeah. If you did those three things, you removed like the three most glaring issues, it would actually be completely confident at what it needs to be doing. Yeah. Like I don't think the goal for the AI needs to be it can beat Andy Davo or K Fogel or Jimmy Fantastic five, four out of six times. Four out of ten times. It's not the goal. That shouldn't be the goal. Yeah. So Scored in two turns, if it could. Wow, did it amazing. The Blood Bowl 3 uh, AI did score with zero resistance, so I was impressed at that. <laughs> mm. Like, seriously, if it can just do that basic stuff, that's fine. It doesn't need to do more than that. Mm -hmm. oh, we aren't wow. trying to build a Blood Bowl supercomputer that can analyze positions for us, because there's just not... There isn't a demand or real need for that. I don't think the community would really want that anyway. No, so. no, well, no. That's a good point. Yeah, even if it was possible, like even if, even if Elon Musk was like a big Blood Bowl fan, <laughs> um, yeah, the, the community probably wouldn't want it either. Yeah, it'd be like a few people, right? There'd be a few people that'd mm -hmm. be interested in it, but that's all. But it would take like some kind of a lunatic billionaire, wouldn't it? To, for, like that's the yeah. only way it's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. It would require like Blood Bowl becoming the most popular thing on Twitch, and Jeff Bezos going, "Let's invest in Blood Bowl analysis AI." Like that's the kind of insanity. We're... No, I don't think I don't think it'd be that that crazy. Just like you know, if if somebody really really rich just liked Blood yeah. Bowl, you yeah. know, I think it'd be more likely they just like it. But then obviously, would somebody that rich play video games? Maybe not. 
I think he does well, I mean, Henry probably, Cavill does, they, doesn't he? Yeah. Henry Cavill does. But he hasn't got enough money to do it. <laughs> That's for fucking sure. <laughs> Uh, you're chaining for him to take more hits because you're just trying to stall the elves from doing stuff so you can maybe somehow score, which I just don't see, which obviously isn't going to happen now. So, mm. Space Marine show with Henry Cavill and Anna de Armas as well, maybe. Fuwa. Carl, oh, that's great that he tried to get her on, but, you know, it's brilliant. Isn't it? me, me and Henry Cavill are on the same page. <laughs> 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 I'm sure there are lots of people who are very excited about the 40k show. I don't care about 40k, but I'm I'm guess I'm happy that people are finally going to see what happens when Games Workshop produces a television show, which is going to be fascinating if nothing else. Yeah, oh man, Cavill is overworld would be amazing, wouldn't it? Yeah, to be fair, every single person on Earth should be hyped about Henry Cavill and Anna Diamas being in something together because if you don't fancy either of those, <laughs> like <laughs> there's something wrong, isn't there? <laughs> That's what I thought, our Yeti. Yep. Uh, what could I? What 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 role could I have in a Blood Bowl thing? Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know what could I be? A coach. I could be the Bill Belichick. <laughs> the <laughs> right <Reichland> Reavers. <laughs> I've already got the hoodie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Annie Diamas is confirmed, but it, there was a story saying that Henry Cavill had asked her. Or contacted her or something. Have you seen the new Morgue? The new Morgue is clear, clearly Demi, the champ. Demi <laughs> is Morgue would be perfect. <laughs> I, I don't think a human as Morgue would be perfect. You'd have, well, maybe I guess if you did like the, the fucking, you know, the bollocks to make. Gandalf look bigger and stuff. Maybe if he did that kind of stuff, maybe he could or, be a human playing. Well, he would just obviously look. Morg would obviously be CG, so it would just be like whatever they did to make the Hulk. Just oh yeah, the Hulk. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah, the Hulk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Dimmy, Dimmy hooked up. Oh my God, that'd be incredible. <laughs> <laughs> just or he somebody Zuck's you just Dimmy next to Henry Cavill's growth. There you go. <laughs> For Zug, you could have uh, you could have a mountain, couldn't you, Zug? Ah, uh, yeah. Pretty good. All like whichever one of the mount people who have played the mountain, all like seven of them. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, I did mean the world's strongest man rather than uh, any of the others, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the one who became there was a mountain by all the other ones that played him. And none of them looking the same. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? I thought the first one was the best as well. He really looked like an absolute son of a bitch, I thought. Whereas the others just, well, one just looked gormless. One was the, uh, one I think only wore the suit and you didn't see his face. He was he was one one, you know, the, the guy who plays one one. So I don't think he I don't know who one one is. I just know there was the, the really, there was, okay, sure. And, uh, like, you know, he does the CGI, I think. He does the CGI for a lot of things. And then, yeah, half the old Beyonce ended up being on him. He's got the ball off him. Look at this. Niagara's got the ball off Ooh. after that one in nine and then scatter catch. And now we've got the edge five free. Reroll is used, though, so very exciting. <laughs> and Castle does something. Look at yeah. that. Yeah, that was a one. Yeah, no, neither do I, Doug. That was pretty. That was pretty bad from Beard. And now the assist for the strength four hit. <laughs> 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 Not sure about that. I guess it's there, so you don't have to move him if you get a push. I don't know. Maybe you just want the stand firm. I don't know why the stand firm wants to be there, though. Oh, well, it's probably because it was here, right? So he moved it there so that it was out of the way. So yeah, I, so don't, I don't like these. Does it, okay, the player has sidestep, I suppose, but... Wow, this mm. is... Uh... Whew -whew, big one in nine, and another big one in nine. Oh my god. 
This was, yeah, this is a bit crap from Beard. But he's kind of got away with it, hasn't he? More or less. Wow, does the 1D to finish off the game. And he's still right decision, but yeah. And gets the KO, of course. To dwarf, dwarf one dice, of course it's a removal. Silly me for thinking of anything else. <laughs> wow. Well, that probably saves it for him and saves the deal. He so somehow comes out with this looking amazing now after getting, <laughs> after getting that removal and getting the ball. Mm -hmm. and he rolled all the dice. Uh you can get a pal here, and you can get a you can get to a one D to maybe hit, open the cage here, and then you something just, happens somehow, or you can just roll a one. It's hard to get a one D though, because the carrier is actually four, isn't it? Uh, strength four, isn't it? So, yeah. It's really, it's really tricky now. Now, now that the strength four's got the ball again, it's, it's pretty fucked. You just gotta get back in front of the cage, I guess. Yeah. Try and stall for some more turns for see if Peter does another bad turn. Yeah, yeah. It's probably I always feel kind of that's the plan, but sometimes that's all you got. Hope my opponent plays bad for a turn and I get a shot. Mm. <laughs> Elijah Woods. <laughs> I mean, you can't go to over. You can't go to kicks, right? They all start going to win kicks. So yeah, or at yeah, least they cannot play like they're going to win kicks. No, no, they're they're fucked. Basically, you've just—I yeah. guess you just hope something happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're right. You just you just stand around and hope something happens. As unlikely as it is, like quad skulls or a dodge, like that just happened. What? He just dodged there, didn't he? He literally just dodged. Misclick, maybe. Yeah. And yeah, it has to be. There was a four plus dodge. He could have just this one could have just moved there. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, just to just to just to miss misread or whatever. So yeah, nearly had yeah. a chance there. What was in the World Cup? Someone started their turn with a four plus dodge and just ended like into the game basically. Yeah. It's only a four plus if you fail. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, misread exactly. It wasn't a misclick. Yeah, it wasn't. A, it wasn't a misclick, right? It was. It was a misread. You don't see the player there and stuff. You don't realize it's a dodge. So it's, it's not fair to call it a misclick. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Everyone does it. Yeah. But it, it's it, it's a blood bowl two mistake rather than a blood bowl like the True. game mistake, isn't it? But but you know it is part of playing blood bowl two, isn't it? You know like that is that is what you play on. Right? So yeah, mis misread I guess. Is more. More what it should be called. Uh, he's, he's, he's doing all right here, Niagara, but I mean, he's up against it, isn't he? Like, this is pretty much over here, barring ridiculous mistakes. Maybe it was just a flex. <laughs> Do you think, Inarian? I mean, it's hard, it's hard to be worse. Like, some of the things are terrible in football, too, aren't they? I mean, I don't know. Maybe there could be better pathfinding in Blood Bowl Three. I have uh, I, the standards pretty low, so it's possible. Yeah. It would yeah. be nice if there weren't cyanide pathing issues anymore, but yeah, I'm not getting my hopes up. <laughs> yeah. I'm not getting my hopes up about any of it, you know. Yeah. Oh wow, another dodge into the foul. Strength Force is a good player to go for. There will be a ladder day one, yep, day day. that was confirmed. And just like that, dirty player is valuable and it was absolutely the correct decision to take that player. So yep. roll the seven, perfect. I guess the dwarves don't like have to score, but I do. They do probably wish they were like two squares further up right now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they've got they've got four turns. It's still fine, yeah. but clock catches up with you really fast with dwarves. Really, really fast. And, and now they've now they've got it right. Now they've got it. Yeah. Now you just busted the guard guy, and you just run all your players up. 
have your troll slayer do the block. You don't have the troll slayer do the blitz too, so they throw this bad guys can do it, and everyone else can just run straight up. No, no, don't. Why is the strength four guy there? No, it's not who should be guarding. The, oh my god, this is not. I don't like. It. It's not important, but I wish like that agility five guy was one running the assist. That strength four guy could have run just as far up as possible, like yeah. take all the space in the world here. Yeah. No, no, it's pretty much done. Yeah. But, yeah. Which it kind of has been for a few turns, but now it's really almost done. You see, don't say it's over, but now it's... Yeah. Uh, now it's really, 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 really... Looks He's like going to foul again, I assume, here. Remember the agility 5 dwarf. Dwarves under power, not getting guard to assist on fouls. Imagine. Yeah, yeah two. Well, one more assist in uh, Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> mm -hmm. Didn't hit the sidestepper there. Interesting. Sidestepper's going to be on the ball, so. Yeah, I would have hit him. Like, it's not that bad where every sidesteps too, and you might as well hit him yeah. with tackle. You keep tackle on him no matter what, right? Mm. So, it was like the if it was the blitzer that was hitting him, and he would have lost tackle. That makes that's that's a bit more understandable, right? Mm. Hello, big sud, <laughs> diced again in real life. Eh? Elves, elves do look like uh... oh, he's rolled so tricky. many one and nines on this runner. Yeah, it's going to be a bit tricky again to get forward. I guess you can just move laterally, get, get you know, really take the center here, which is... It you is take the center or go up the left side. He's going to go up the left side, it looks like. Yeah, I, would, I would think I would have taken the center. I... No, Fallon. is what I forgot about. Uh, fell first. Because you got the bribe. No, he hasn't used, he's used the bribe. Oh. Okay, well, fouling first without the bribe, I think, is a bit crap. Yeah. It is Phineas North. It is indeed the save it's SPP and buy stat ups. Yep. You've got a roll to see what the stat is, and then you don't have to take it, and you can take a double or a normal instead. But you still expend the SPP as if you had taken a stat, so. Yes, yeah. Jesus. He's really some shit dice, hasn't he? Yeah, tackle against dodge when they roll ones and they don't have any rerolls is pretty good. Yep. And again, that failed dodge, clear. Take the space! Mm -hmm. Why are you doing that block first? <laughs> you have to take the space, take the space, goddamn. <laughs> Things that don't matter, but... <laughs> the double skulls. Rolls, dub skulls. Rerolls into a removal because that's how that works most of the time. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Could he have scored if he hadn't? Had just like moved somewhere first, couldn't he? Like, it's yeah. Pretty, pretty terrible. Match. Yeah, he actually was out of scoring range of that runner if he hadn't. And the only the agility four blitzer would have been in range that next turn if he hadn't. If he had quad cold. They also could have pushed everyone out of scoring range and be like, well, and to kicks we go, we go. For <laughs> nothing. Fouling again, because... I mean, that's probably a better use of that player. Yeah, no reason not to. <laughs> well, that run is really good this game. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Well, there you go. Pretty, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty decent game in the end, wasn't it? Uh, like obviously, yeah. uh, the overtime is a bit shit because there, there, it was exciting at first with a fail pickup and then the scramble. Mm -hmm. But it, obviously, once once the ball's on a strength four blodger, it's uh, surrounded by guard and there's three elves left. It gets a bit difficult for the elves. But yeah, you know, commiserations for Naga had a lot of bad luck, I think. Uh, congratulations to Augmented Beard who played it mostly well. 
And uh, thank you very much, Squirrel Dude, for coming on, being glorious in the booth. Yep. <laughs> yep. And oh, yeah, lovely MVP as well. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. Bye.